Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss about one of the most trending topics in the field of DevOps, that is DevSecOps. Many of you have asked me to make a detailed video on DevSecOps and explain what it is. And also to share the roadmap on how to become a DevSecOps engineer. That means what are the tools and technologies and what steps one have to follow to become a DevSecOps engineer. And some of you have asked me to create a complete new playlist on DevSecOps. Apart from the usual DevOps playlist that we have, the 45 days one, which is quite popular. Apart from that, people have asked me to create a DevSecOps playlist. So I thought after all of this, let me make a detailed video and explain my thoughts and views on DevSecOps. Now, at the beginning of the video itself, I'll explain you very clearly that personally, I don't think there is something called as DevSecOps and I don't believe that there is a role called as DevSecOps engineer. Now, my thoughts and views can be different from what you read over the internet and what you watch on YouTube. But if you watch the video completely, I'll explain you why I feel so. And probably you also agree with me that there is nothing called as DevSecOps. First, let's understand the textbook definition of DevSecOps. So the textbook definition of DevSecOps says that if anyone adds security practices to the regular DevOps day-to-day -day activities is called as a DevSecOps engineer. And that role is called as DevSecOps role. So according to the textbook definition, what is the difference between DevOps engineer and DevSecOps engineer? So according to them, DevOps engineer is the one who performs regular DevOps activities and DevSecOps is the one who adds security practices into it. In 2023, do you really think whether a developer, DevOps engineer, automation engineer, data analytics, data engineer, anything it can be, do you really think you can escape from security and not think about security in the tasks that you are doing? Technically, it is not possible. And have you ever seen roles like secure developer, secure automation engineer, secure pipeline engineer, or have you ever seen something like secure data engineer? No. Then why is there something called as a DevSecOps engineer? Okay. I'll make it even more simple. If you put DevOps aside, let's say there is a developer and this developer is working on a banking application. Probably he is adding a new feature for payment gateway. Let's take this as an example. Now, when this developer works on this task, do you think that someone has to tell him that please keep security in mind and please keep the user information sensitive? No. Nobody have to tell him by the design. I mean, from the point of design itself, this developer has to think about security and not just that. Do you think that this developer writes the code and there is another developer who adds security into it? It's not possible, right? There is only one developer who adds the code and thinks about security while adding the code or writing the code. There is no other person called secure developer who add security into the code that this person has written. Similarly, there is nothing called as DevSecOps engineer. Probably in some companies, they have the designation called DevSecOps engineer to just tell you that they keep security as priority, but it does not mean that in that particular company, they have a DevOps engineer position and they have a DevSecOps engineer position. Practically from 10 years of experience, and from eight years of experience in DevOps, I have never seen something like that. If they have a position called DevSecOps engineer, probably that is just the designation, but they will not have another team called as DevOps engineering team. And let me tell you that this is all overhyped because whenever you are learning DevOps, probably let's take example that you are learning DevOps from my playlist. In my channel, there is DevOps playlist, there is AWS playlist, Terraform, Python. If you learn all of these things, you will definitely become a DevOps engineer. And I will tell you that you already considered security as part of this playlist, 
and you can consider yourself as devops or devsecops whatever you would like to call it. why see let's take example of devops playlist itself where we learned about kubernetes when we learned about kubernetes i've told you about kubernetes secrets i've told you about the use cases i've told you how to secure ET etcd i've told you how to secure api server right we discussed a complete podcast about security on kubernetes similarly when we were learning about aws i told you how to use aws systems manager when we were writing lambda functions to retrieve some information or when we were building the ci cd pipelines on aws to retrieve some information we used aws systems manager but we did not hard code right we did not hard code that value in the aws ci cd yaml file that you are writing similarly when we built the ultimate ci cd pipeline using jenkins on our channel what did we do to connect to the github we used jenkins credential store that means we stored the api token or we stored the personal access token of github in the jenkins credential store we did not keep it open in the jenkins file again you considered security when we were learning terraform we used hashicorp vault you again learned about security when we were using ansible we learned about security when we were using python i mean in the current python playlist we learned about environment variables command line arguments and not to hard code it in future classes we will learn more about python security but what i mean to say is as a devops engineer you are already considering security when you want to store terraform state file we learned how to store them in s3 bucket and we learned how to lock it using dynamo db that is again security do you think in a company there is a devops engineer who writes terraform file and stores the terraform file in his machine or in git repository then there is another person called devsecops engineer who takes that and stores in the s3 bucket that's not possible as a devops engineer you have to think about it so all that i want to say is this entire concept is overhyped there is nothing called devsecops engineer some companies they have that designation just to say that they are also keeping security as an important factor during the interviews so be prepared for it that's it once you go to the company you are a devsecops engineer you are the devops engineer you are the cloud engineer you are everything there is no other designation for devops engineers right and during your interviews when you find devsecops positions please apply for that because you are already thinking about security when you are learning devops tools when you create a docker image you know that docker image has to be scanned using trivi or clear or something right so that is devsecops i don't believe in devsecops but to explain you what it is according to the industry according to the internet resources so adding clear or trivi as a step to scan your docker image is devsecops storing your kubernetes secrets in the secret resource is devsecops using hashicorp vault for terraform secrets is devsecops using aws systems manager is devsecops so any task that you do from tomorrow if you keep security in your mind you are a devsecops engineer so there is only one umbrella called devops engineer under that devsecops comes into picture cloud engineer comes into picture please do not divide each and every day i see people asking such questions that is there something called cloud engineer what is the difference between cloud engineer and devops engineer what is the difference between devsecops and devops engineer there is nothing like that devops is an umbrella and everything falls under it of course sre is different don't mix into it but devops engineering has devsecops and cloud engineering already in it i hope you found this video informative and let me know in the comment section do you agree with me or not it's okay if you don't agree with me please provide proper details so that we can agree to disagree thank you so much see you all in the next video bye bye